A Crisis Stabilization Unit, or CSU, is a small inpatient facility for people in a mental health crisis. Vista opened the first community-based one on Friday. This is an urgent care for behavioral health. County Supervisor Jim Desmond says this CSU will save law enforcement time and resources, and more importantly, get individuals experiencing a mental health crisis fast and efficient care. This is going to save lives for those who are struggling going through a crisis and, who, and struggling with the burden and the need to get help. Yay. Exodus Recovery will run the facility 24 hours a day, seven days a week. President and CEO Luana Murphy says this is the perfect location for a CSU. We're going to say yes to everybody that walks in the door. In the same complex, there is a mobile crisis team transport, along with programs for drug and alcohol, mental health outpatient care, and San Diego START, a crisis prevention and response program for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And it is going to make it much easier for us to do what we have to do and that is to find a place to discharge this person after they're stabilized, not just send them back to the street. County Board Chair Nathan Fletcher describes why CSUs are so important. The behavioral health assessment, the psychiatric services, the medication, the peer support, the transition planning, all that gets done really quickly in a short period of time, but that trust that you built and that connection into ongoing care uh, is what I think is so essential. San Diego County Under Sheriff Kelly Martinez says a CSU is also a safe alternative to jail or an emergency room. It's the right thing to do. To spend eight hours with a deputy sheriff in handcuffs at an emergency room is just not acceptable. It's not the way that it should be, and it's just far too impactful on somebody's mental health to undergo that, that kind of a time frame with someone in law enforcement. So in about a month, Exodus Recovery plans to open another CSU in Oceanside, and both facilities will work together to make sure those who are experiencing a mental health crisis get the proper care they need. Melissa May, KPBS News.